Well, this is Jim W4JBM. Um, I'm going to take a second. I just uh, actually made a quick video about uh, the GM328 component tester. I talked about uh, the fact that it's it's pretty impressive that it can uh, figure out and not just measure a capacitor, but actually figure out that uh, there's a capacitor connected to it. It, uh, it can understand whether it's a, a diode, a MOSFET, a JFET, a transistor, um, an inductor, a capacitor, uh, you know, any, any number of things. I've actually got uh, some parts I've been going through, and um, uh, recently I helped, uh, helped clean out the, the workshop of a local silent key and, and a lot of interesting odds and ends. But it came across, uh, there's two of these, and uh, they're basically the same. There's a, a screw um, that is that goes in, so it's, it's threaded uh, on this end. And, you know, shape-wise, if you pulled off this tab, it's actually very similar to, like, maybe a, a small knob you might see on a, uh, uh, something like a jewelry box or something like that. There is a color code on it. Uh, it uh, is brown or excuse me black brown black uh that looks like red silver and orange uh, i am assuming it's a capacitor and there are two of these one one had the screw in it uh, the other one didn't uh, they both have the same color code both the same shape pair to be the same device um, but that is just a an assumption uh, I, I really have no idea what this is and um, so i thought this would be a a chance to uh we'll either uh Go big or go home on uh, on, on showing what the uh, the GM uh, 328 is uh, is capable of. So I'm just going to quickly attach a, uh, a set of leads for uh, uh, to allow to to connect it and uh, and do some testing. That other one was too large. So let's see what I've got around here. Surely I've got something smaller. Uh, I can actually use just the, the lead off of uh, a resistor and I won't uh, want to actually connect it to, uh, to anything if that uh, will fit through. Okay, so we'll just leave the, we're using the lead of the resistor, but I uh, won't use the resistor itself. So now I've got uh, two leads uh, that would appear to be the two leads. This one uh, appears to be connected to the, um, the actual uh, case of the device uh, also so we can uh, we gotta be careful I guess not to short that to the case if that uh, is the case no pun intended uh, and then I put this into the zero insertion force and we push that and it turns out to be looks like uh, about a uh, thousand picofarads, which be one nanofarad or 0 0.001 microfarad. So it does appear to be some kind of uh, small capacitance. Um, probably, I mean, that size uh, for that low of a capacitance. Uh, in fact, that's got a metal case and stuff. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe designed for something high voltage. I have no idea, no part number or anything that. Uh, uh, that I can find on it, but uh, I guess it's just kind of interesting that uh, there's all these little odds and ends like that that uh, I may never may never know where uh, where that came from. I guess I've I've never seen uh, capa or you know capacitor uh, like that. And the thing that kind of made me think it was a capacitor was the uh, the color code. I mean, that you, you see color codes on other components too, but just the the general shape and stuff you wouldn't tend to expect to see color codes like that on uh, if it had been a diode or something so anyway that uh, just kind of uh, sh uh, I guess a little bit of uh, showing off of the uh, the GM328 and its ability to again identify that uh, this little knob like device is a, uh, a capacitor and uh, and do the measurement um, so anyway that's uh, I was kind of curious what that was I figured I would uh, just record it as I test it like I said, go big, go home. I was lucky this time. I guess it was a capacitor, or a capacitor and uh, uh, actually turned out to be right. Um, so that doesn't always happen, believe it or not. Anyway, thanks, and I hope you have a